Hey everyone, I hope you are having a great Tuesday morning. So I told you yesterday, we were going to um, start working on the armor of God. <clears throat> and all throughout this week, well, I'm going to be leading up to my teaching on the belt of truth. And today's verse is going to be John 8, 31 through 32. And this is out of the NIV version. And it says, To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teachings, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And this verse there's a lot to unpack here, right? There's a lot of good truth in this verse. And it says, if you hold to my teachings. And as Christians, you know, there are so many things in the Bible that it gives us to lead us and guide us in his perfect will. You know, we have the Holy Spirit and we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit later in this week. But we have the Holy Spirit who will lead us and guide us in all truth. And it says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. You know, so in this verse, I kind of want to pull out a couple little things. First, are you holding to the teachings of Christ? And this isn't, you know, for condemnation. This is so that you can ask yourself this simple question. And God doesn't, Jesus doesn't condemn us, right? That's why Jesus went to the cross. So we didn't have to live in condemnation, but he does convict us. He does tell us, Hey, you know, there's something in your life that you need to change. And then the, the latter part of this verse, it says, then I love these if then statements, right? Because then implies that you have to do something. It says, then you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. As a Christian, you know, there are so many if-then statements in the Bible. If you do this, then I do this. You know, if you if you tithe, then I will pour out more blessings in your storehouse than they can contain. You know, and this is one of those if-then statements about knowing the truth. And it says, you know, and I'm going to read it one more time. It says, to the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teachings, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You know, the truth of Jesus is so awe-inspiring to know that he was willing to go to the cross and die on it for me. You know, even though I don't deserve it, even though I'm not worthy of it, you know, he was willing to do that because he loves us so much. And if we follow the teachings, if we believe, then we will know the truth and the truth shall set, shall set us free. Sorry, that was a little bit much to say. But, you know, the truth of the Bible is, is that everything is in there not to make our lives boring, not to make our lives miserable, but it is there to help us walk out the life that God would have us walk in, the perfect will of Christ, you know, and there's three wills. There's the good, there's the acceptable, and there's the perfect. You know, each of us should strive to walk in that perfect will of Christ. And each of us should, should strive to know the truth, to walk in the truth. And this, the end of this verse tells us the truth shall set you free. Think of all the silly mistakes that you made when you were a kid or a young adult. You know, for me, it was a young adult. And think of how much turmoil could have been avoided if you would have just walked out what God was placing in your heart. I can remember when I was in college, I had a girl come up to me and she wanted me to join her sorority. And her sorority was a Christian based sorority, sorry. And I, um, at that point in my life, I had been to church, I had even been saved. 
but I wasn't walking with Christ and I wanted to live the college life. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to go to the bars and I wanted to do all this, you know, and this is before my motorcycle wreck that, that killed me. And I, you know, I had heard the truth. I knew the truth, but I wasn't walking in the truth. And when she, when she asked me that, you know, I thought, I can't do all these fun things in college if I, if I join this, I want to, I want to live the college life. And, you know, I did for a little bit. You know, I made a bad decision. I got on the back of a motorcycle. I went headfirst into a tree, you know, and there was years after that, that, that decision, you know, not walking in the truth, you know, God had sent me a lifeline. He had, he had sent me the truth, you know, and, you know, it's always one of those, if I would have done this, then maybe that wouldn't happen. Who knows? Right. But I can strategically look back on my life and I can see points where God was trying to speak to me. He was trying to put me back in his perfect will. And I just ignored it because I didn't want to, you know, and when she came up to me and she she tried to get me to to come, you know, to to their sorority and and do all the sorority things. I never joined one, so I'm not sure. But um, I just brushed her off, you know, and it wasn't long after that that I had my motorcycle wreck, you know, and this verse tells us and again, it's John 8, 31 and 32. And it, it tells us, you know, if you hold to my teachings you are my disciple, then you will know the truth. You know, I wasn't holding to his teachings. I was doing whatever I wanted. And you know, the truth wasn't able to set me free because I wasn't walking in the truth. I wasn't, you know, holding to his teachings. So I think it's very important for us as Christians today to remember that if things are going wrong in our life, it's not always, well, it's never because God caused it, right? It but it's not always the devil either. You know, we've talked a lot about the devil the last couple of weeks. It's not always the devil either. You know, sometimes it's just us not doing this verse. It's us not holding to his teachings. It's us not following the truth. So as I kind of wrap up here today, I'm going to post a question here in just a little bit. And um, I'd love to interact with you. I'd love to know your your story, right? I often, I'm kind of an, literally an open book. If any of you have my book, you know that I, I dive into some pretty sensitive details. But I would like to know your story, Sue. So I'm going to pray and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for everything you've given to us. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace and your mercy and that you don't condemn us, but you convict us to keep us on your perfect path. We thank you, Lord, that your word tells us you are truth and that we can walk in that truth and we shall be set free. And I pray every person watching this now or whenever. Father God, I pray that they walk in your truth and that you set them free. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.